Kyle had his stroke four days after we got married. Thankfully, we had friends and family rush him to the emergency room. The next thing I knew, I was in the ICU. You see everything, you hear everything, and you can't do anything. Despite Kyle's near complete paralysis, when we looked at him and when he looked at us, we just knew he was still in there. Locked-in syndrome is rare. It only happens in about 1% to 2% of all strokes. What happens with that kind of stroke is you get total body paralysis. The only thing that you can move is your eyes, yet you are fully alert. When we found that the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab had experience with locked-in syndrome patients, they had therapists who were trained in neurorehabilitation, we said, we've got to figure out any way possible to get here. When I first arrived, I couldn't speak. Very, very slight movement in my hand. Essentially nothing. Immediately, the <laughs> therapists were like, we're mm. going to be rigorous, we're going to be intense, we're going to go for mm. it. Give me a high five. <laughs> I think it was on day two or three, you were on the treadmill yeah. <laughs> walking. A lot of the stuff he had to do was very hard. It was very physically challenging. It was mentally exhausting. That didn't faze him. He had huge support from his family. He was never alone. Any research study that I am presented with, I do anything at all that could potentially help the next person. I would be foolish to not help. The progress I have made, it's amazing. They thought um, my Diagnosis was pretty grim. Thought I would never breathe. Thought I would never talk. They thought I would never move. Yeah, but I proved them wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's almost been a year since my stroke. I'm not stopping. What don't I work on in day rehab? I work on every facet of life. Kyle has shown me a determination and a will that I am just blown away by. A lot of what I do at therapy is to change Michelle's title from caregiver to partner. He came home from therapy and said, I'd like to take you out to dinner tonight. He stands up from his wheelchair and grabs his cane and says, let's go. It, it was an incredible feeling to have him at my level, walking side by side. And it was really liberating. Kyle is one person who's had this diagnosis, and his recovery is Kyle's recovery. But every patient who has locked-in syndrome has a different pathway. We will work as hard as we can to get the most recovery we can get. I still feel that my progress will never end. I am gonna come out of this experience better than I was. <laughs>